Should you use it for your edibles? What the hell is it anyway? So lecithin is a phospholipid that has excellent emulsification properties. And it's good for infusions for several reasons, I should say. Number one, in my opinion, is the stability element. I don't know if you've ever done an infused coconut oil and seen some separation. The lecithin will help that um, be more stable throughout so you won't see kind of that discoloration. Number two is bioavailability. And this is debated. Um, I've had some cool people on the podcast talking about this as well. But I want to say first and foremost, it's not going to make your um, infusion more potent. So you have a 200 milligram um, infusion, it's not going to make it 300. It's just going to allow those um, cannabinoids, terpenes, flavonoids to be, you know, a little more bioavailable and be able to be um, like taken in easier in your body. You know, some people disagree with this. I've noticed a slight difference in my experimentation, but I think why people might disagree on this subject or it's still kind of up in the air a little bit is first of all, more science, we need to do more research. But then again, every body is different and that's so crucial with infusions in general. Some people rocks their world, some people don't get rocks, some people take them every day like myself. And the third reason to use um, less than I would say is for like the shelf stability component. It allows you to have a product that's more shelf stable in general. So if you go to a grocery store, even candy bars, like mayonnaise, all this shit, has a lot of lecithin in it. A lot of people use soy lecithin. And that's where I wanna say all lecithin isn't created equal. I like to use pure like organic sunflower lecithin that is liquid. Now you can go do soy lecithin um, and maybe you're getting it from a GMO farm that has chemicals. That's why I like to avoid soy. I don't eat a lot of soy in general though either. So just be cautious where you're getting it from. And I like the liquid form factor more because I find it dissolves a little easier. And that brings me to probably the most crucial point. You're like, cool, man, thank you for sharing this info, but how do I actually incorporate it into my infusion? I like to incorporate it into my infusion right after I strain the infusion so it's still warm to hot. Put the lecithin in there, give it a good stir. If you're in a mason pot, you could even give it a little shake. I still like to stir a fair amount. Let it just sit there, let it um, kind of all bind together and chill and you're good to go. But it's super important that you have a warm to hot mixture to allow for that, you know, to blend in and mix in there. I don't recommend using more than a teaspoon, a tablespoon for a cup of oil max. I honestly usually just eyeball it, do a little squeeze. I don't need much of it. And that brings me to my final point here of maybe a couple drawbacks of using lecithin. Number one would be the taste. If you're kind of finicky with how things taste, you don't like the taste of, you know, soy or sunflower. I might avoid it. I personally don't notice much of a difference. Um, but if you're somebody that's kind of on that line where you're not too sure, yeah, just maybe steer away from it. Again, I don't use it with every infusion. I don't usually add it to like my butters or olive oil infusions. I don't add it to my MCT oil infusions typically. I do add it to my coconut oil infusions the most. Um, I'm trying to think if I missed anything else. If I did, please drop a comment and let me know what you want to know more about in terms of lecithin. But thank you guys for chilling. And if you haven't joined the Mason Pot fam, please subscribe below. See what we got going on. If you want to learn more about the craft infuser, the Mason Pot kit, the Mason Pot device, go check out masonpot.com and use code MASONPOT24. Get 10% off. It's like 90 bucks, dude. All in one craft infuser. All you're ever going to need to make beautiful, potent batches of edibles and just easily add that lecithin in and you're good to go. Thanks for chilling.